Hey folks, I'm going to make a short tutorial on how to give your Mac the ability to read and write to Linux file systems. Now the Mac by default does not have that ability, so we have to download and install some programs that are going to enable it. Okay, um, you may use this for Raspberry Pi or something else. Depends on what you need. So first, we have to install this program called Fuse. Now this file right up here, okay, not the other one. And then we have to install Fuse EXT2. Okay, so we install both of these. And once we're done, we can go ahead and verify by looking at the system preferences. And we're going to see both both of the preferences for Fuse and the one for Fuse EXT2. It's going to do this little thing where it's going to tell you it's going to restart, which is normal. Some of them will do that. So there it is. Okay. So, um, like I said, there's many reasons you may want to do it, and I'm going to leave a little more information in the about. So, don't forget to click that. It's going to be right here. But let's get started. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is actually, um, once you've installed those two programs, if you don't want to give it right access, all you really have to do is plug in the SD card. And as you can tell, you're going to get both partitions. Now, these partitions are not the same. As a matter of fact, um, if we open the boot partition, you will notice that this is an FAT32 system and the little green plus means that we can write to it. Whereas this disk 2 s 2 this is actually a Linux partition. And you can tell because you see that little thing that says forbidden? That means we can't write to it. So we're kind of out of luck. So by default, we can, after installing these two programs, we can read, but we cannot write. So in order to enable writing, we first need to know what's uh, what devices are plugged in. So right here, this is our second device. And here is our Windows. FAT32, which is this one here, the boot, and here's our Linux, and it's right here. So next we are going to unmount these, so let's type disk util unmount disk, and that's dev disk 2, which is what it's called right up there, you see that right here. Okay. So notice it disappeared. Okay. Next, we're going to do sudo make directory, and we're going to make two directories at the same time. Okay, one for the boot, which is FAT32, and one for the Linux. Okay, um, I will explain later on, um, but okay. So, next, we're going to mount the Linux directory. X2. And then the directory comes from disk one s two, as it says up here. Oh, I'm sorry, disk two s two. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to type and speak at the same time. And then we give it the option, and this is the option that gives it to force read and write. Now, if everything shows up right, your your messages should be the same as mine, and you should now have up here. So next, we're going to mount the boot, which is just a FAT32. Out dash w dash t ms dos the disk to s1. Notice it's different. Mounted to the uh, volumes sdf, not sdl. And if we've done everything right, we now have both of our files. And we also have read write access. And I'll show you. If we go to the desktop of the Pi directory, we can now drag files just like we could to the FAT32, we can also do it to the Linux now. There you go. So once we have read write access, just keep in mind, this is very experimental. You could cause damage, so read the warnings, okay? Um, only do this as much as you need to and then unmount them. So to unmount them, simple command, we've already done it. Disk util unmount dev 
disk two. Now also remember, disk two is what it's called on my system. You need to know what it's called on yours, okay? Now finally, if you mess up and you make more directories than you need to in the volumes, I did that, so I thought I'd just really let you know how to get rid of them, because you don't want to have a bunch of trash on your system. So we, first we go into the volumes, we check to make sure. Now I have these untitled, I'm not sure, so I think they may have been created by the system, I'm not going to mess with those. But I did manually create this one that says DISKO. So to, do, to remove it, we just type sudo remove directory, and then the name, and then we verify that it's gone. And so we're good to go. Okay, so hope that helps. I'm gonna leave some of this information in the about field. So if you've got any questions, this should be able to answer them. And if anything else, let me know. Okay, well, hope that helps again. Thanks and take care.